Welcome back to Grow with the Jan Family. I'm Anjali. And I'm Jaden. And today we are going to be reacting to the Who is Krishna? Why is Krishna simply in God? By Sadhguru. So we haven't done anything um, by him before, but because we have done some of the temples and we've also done um, Lord Shiva, uh, we've had some requests to learn some more about Lord Krishna. So, um, this is the first time we're seeing S Sadhguru. I think I'm saying that right. And um, and also learning about Lord Krishna. So, we we have his picture, right, Jaden? Mm -hmm. We have his picture here in our house. Um, and we know he's like the playful god. So, we know a little bit about him. Um, but this hopefully will tell us a little bit more about him. And... Um, and we'll get to hear uh, Sadhguru speak. So, I'm going to start it up, Anji. Let me say Krishna. The essence of who he is. He is uh, an irrepressible child. A terrible prankster. Sounds like an a child. An enchanting huh? child. You are a child. A graceful dancer. An irresistible lover. Why do you want to dance? Mm -hmm. A truly valiant warrior. Mm. A ruthless yeah. vanquisher of his foes. A man who left a broken heart in every home. An astute statesman and kingmaker. Mm. A thorough gentleman. A yogi of the highest order. Really and the most everything. colorful incarnation. Krishna is seen and perceived and understood and experienced in many, many different ways by different people. He has such a calm voice. Duryodhana. Yeah. Through the eyes of mm -hmm. Duryodhana. For those of you who do not know the background, I will be. Because unless you understand the whole tapestry of the story and the situation in which he existed, many aspects of who he is will be missed. So we will go into it but right now. Good. He's going to teach us more. Duryodhana is a man because of certain situations in which he was placed. Insecure, mm. angry, jealous. feeling wrong all his life and uh, because of actions which came forth from his greed and anger he became the key for destruction of his whole race mm. this is like the bad guy he's talking in Duryodhana's words smiling rogue if there was ever one he can eat he can drink he can sing he can dance he can make love he can fight he can gossip with old women play with little children who says he is God <laughs> That's how can you do perception. all that and still be God right yeah. Shakuni, the very embodiment of deception and cunning. The music is so pretty in the background. Shakuni says, let us suppose he is God. So what? What can a God do? God can only please those devotees who please him. Let him be God. I don't like him. <laughs> and when you don't like somebody, you must praise them. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's deceit. <laughs> yeah. That means you're not being truthful. Right? <laughs> Ra 
बता दे इस चाइल्ड लवर मिल्क मेड सिंपल वुमेन ऑफ द विलेज बट विच सच एंड फॉल्टरिंग लव एंड डिवोशन शी इज बिकम सो बिग दैट टुडे यू कैन नॉट टॉक ऑफ कृष्णा विद आवर राधे we don't say krishna radhe we say radhe krishna so her name first so she loves the god so much that she has become part of him almost she has become a simple village woman she has become as significant as krishna or little more significant than him mm. interesting mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she said uh, krishna is with me He is always with me. Always. Whenever he is, whoever he is with, he is still with me. It's her perception. When they, a youth who was the Garuda chief's eldest son, living on the mountains of Gomantak. A sprightly youth, because of a certain ailment, became totally crippled. This crippled youth, after he met Krishna, Krishna made him walk. Wow, it's amazing. So Vaidya said, "He's God. He's God. He's God." Akrura, an uncle of Krishna, a wise and saintly being, <coughs> expressed his perception of Krishna this way. Krishna when i look at him this strange young boy i see the sun the moon and the seven stars whirling around him when he speaks he sounds like the voice of the eternal he's the hope if there is hope in this world He's the hope. She can be a tortured human being because of a certain situation within himself, right from his child. This is an absolutely tortured soul. So she can be said, Krishna never gave me any hope. when he is there the breeze of hope touches everybody i can go on like this different people some different facets of who he is for some he is god for some he is a crook for some he is a lover for some he is a fighter of so many things he is yeah he's everything i guess mm-hmm. if we want to taste an essence of what it means when we say krishna the consciousness that we refer to as krishna if we have to be touched by this we need leela here we are for the leela leela means it is the path of the playful mm, like a child right mm. this is not Fun. for the serious times are you <laughs> no, not serious, right? Not us. Because when I say playfulness, we are not here just to play 
We are here to explore the most profound and the most serious aspect of life, but playfully, conducted playfully. Mm. Otherwise, Krishna won't be there. Mm. So make sure you play, so Krishna will stay around, right? The reason why the most profound dimensions of life have missed, have been missed by the vast population of the world is because they do not know how to be playful. Mm, you know. <laughs> if you want to explore this path playfully, if you want to be playful, you need a heart full of love, a joyful mind, and a vibrant body. Otherwise, there's no leader. Very wise. That was the the way he speaks is so almost soothing. soothing. Yeah, like meditative, mm -hmm. like the flute music in the background, and he he talks softly, but what he says has big meaning behind it, you know. And um, you could almost just close your eyes and just listen to him talk. You know, we haven't seen uh, Sadhguru speak before, so this is the first time. Mm -hmm. um, so you definitely will have to send us some more um, links for him to see. I'd like to learn a little bit more. This seemed like it just touched a little bit about Lord Krishna and his playfulness mm -hmm. and um, a little bit about him, but he mentioned some other gods um, in it. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, we don't, we're obviously learning, so we don't know everything about it but um, I did want to read a little bit about um, Sadhguru um, a yoga a mystic and an author he founded the Ishna Foundation nonprofit organization which offers yoga programs around the world and is involved in social outreach education environmental initiatives his books have appeared in New York Times bestseller list that's a big in multiple categories under health, religion, spirituality, and faith. Um, he's been a speaker at headquarters of the United Nations. He spoke at many universities, Harvard, Stanford. Wow, he's done a lot of, a lot. Um, there was a little bit more. And his father was, uh, worked with the Indian Railways. So the family moved a lot. So similar to Modi, um, Prime Minister Modi, like he grew up as a, you know, selling tea with his family. You know, didn't come from a rich family, didn't come from a fancy schools, you know. Um, and sometimes I feel like if you struggle a little bit in life, you um, almost do better things. Not always, but... If you can get through the struggles and find the good, um, you know, you can really, I think, do a lot in life. So it looks like he's established a lot, um, a yoga center, um, conducting classes. I feel like there was another. Oh, the Shiva, Lord Shiva statue, Sadhguru, but the statue is for inspiring, promoting yoga. So one of the first yogi, because Shiva is known as the originator of yoga, which we didn't learn that in the last video. Um, it was inaugurated February 24th by the Prime Minister of India, and um, it looks like a huge platform with a statue of Lord Shiva. So maybe they do classes around it, people come and do yoga around it. It's beautiful. They actually said it was the largest bust sculpture by Guinness World Records. Yeah, so amazing. So we'll have to learn a little bit more about him or maybe do some, um, I know he does, it seems like he does a lot of uh, religious uh, speeches, talks about religion. Mm -hmm. He's a, um, but we'll have to learn a little bit more about him as well. Mm -hmm. So what was your favorite thing that you learned about Lord Krishna? Um, he like eats cheese. Not cheese. No. So he, they didn't mention it here, but 
my husband mentioned that, um, so we have this picture of Lord Krishna and he said he always has a bowl next to him or um, a bucket and he said it always has milk in it and when he plays his flute the cows come and so he likes milk and sh butter. And, and, if, and if he knew cheese, he would love me. Yes, Jaden loves cheese and cheese sticks. Mm -hmm. And so, Lord Krishna and you would be good friends, I think. Mm -hmm. You like your milk, mm -hmm. uh, your chocolate milk, and you like mm -hmm. your cheese. So, um, you guys would be buds. Plus, mm -hmm. he's very playful, right? Yay. He likes to play, and he seems like the fun god. Like, seems like he, from, from what my understanding, like he does a little of everything. He, um, but he seems like the, you got that? The, um, the god of fun. Right. Yeah. What did you like about this? I liked that, like, so, I'm kind of a magician myself. I play the violin, and he plays the flute. And there was, like, flute mus music in the background, which was really pretty. And I bet he's, like, the, uh, like, a really good flute player. So, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, they said mm -hmm. at the beginning, um, he was one of the best flute players yeah. around, and, um, you know, everybody comes, but um, Daddy was saying definitely the cows, he gets the cows to come when he plays the flute, so mm -hmm. seems like the magical, um, happy, you know, the, the, the god you want around if you're sad, right? Mm -hmm. um, and like um, Sadhguru said, like, you know, to do well in life, you need to do it playfully, so that Lord Krishna will be around you. You know, kind of, I mean, I know I believe God is everywhere, and um, so I guess he's saying if if you do stuff in life playfully, not seriously, I'm sure there's time for seriousness, but you will learn more. So being a teacher, we always say children learn through playing, doing it with their hands, and enjoying it, mm -hmm. and you always learn more when you do it that way, and so that's kind of... Um, the good message I got from this is that, you know, you, you do it in a fun way. You'll learn more. You'll be happy. And life is good, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, thank you guys for sending this to us. I know it's been on the list for a while. and um, But keep sending those comments and suggestions. If you can send us the link, sometimes if we type in what you've asked for, it gives us five different suggestions for the same thing. So if you want a specific link or a specific talk or song, um, please send us the link that you want us to do. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will be kind of our choice on that. And, uh, and keep sending us patriotic songs. We have a long list of that. And we also, Rocky is the same day as Independence Day. And so we're going to post a little thing about send us your friendship, not your friendship. That friendship day was the other day. Send us your um, brother, sister songs that you want us to do, and uh, we'll post that on our community page. Mm -hmm. So Yes. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below, because the more you like it, the more YouTube shares our videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Yep. And we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Jay Hind, Hare Krishna. Krishna.